So the overall energy of what is going on is believe in reverse. Somebody didn't believe you or didn't believe in you because somebody was being cunning. They were hiding their true intentions, their true personality. Someone was being sneaky. Um, so a group of people or a person or, you know, take it how it resonates to your situation. Could be multiple people, could be a single people, but somebody didn't believe um, in you or something about you. Um, there was, there's a web here. So somebody was spinning a web of disbelief, causing some sort of illusions here. Um, work, you're working hard. You're a busy bee. Okay. So somebody could have lied about your work, what you do for work, how hard you work. Someone could have called you lazy. <clears throat> somebody didn't believe in your work. Say you're a spiritualist or a healer or whatever it is you do. Somebody didn't believe in you or what you did, but there's rebirth here. You've gone through a rebirth or you're going through a rebirth. Big changes are coming. Congratulations. So your hard work is paying off. Something really big could be happening here. Um, something is in the works. Somebody didn't want to move on. Someone is unavailable. Waste of time. It's over. So somebody refused to move on from something here. Someone wants you to open up your heart. Open your heart. It'll help attract more love. Or you may need to open up your heart. Someone's closed off because they believed a lie so somebody could have listened to rumors or gossip um, there's somebody who wouldn't move on from something um, somebody was not available um, you didn't waste your time or you didn't want to deal with this person maybe it's somebody that you already left or didn't want to deal with somebody wants you to open up your heart or you are open um, to something else just not this situation or this person Somebody wants to offer you a commitment. Things are getting serious or wants to get serious. <clears throat> so maybe now someone is coming to the realization that um, you're a good person. You're a hard worker. You're not lazy. You're not a slacker. Um, whatever you do for work, you're the real deal. You're not a counterfeit. You're not a fake. You've gone through a rebirth or transformation. Um, somebody may have known you possibly since from the time you were younger. So it may be, <clears throat> or for a while, or just for years or something like that. So it may be difficult for someone to have believed that you have gone through some sort of transformation. Um, have you ever heard that saying, you're a hero in every country except yours? You know, like people, people can love you and respect you except from like where you come from, that kind of thing. Um, so this could be, I'm getting like hometown, country, small town kind of energy um, where people just are very closed minded and it's like they want they're stuck in their beliefs and they want to believe what they want to believe and so if something goes against their belief system they would just rather not accept it or deal with it um, especially if they've known you it's like well this person can't do this or they can't be like that because that's just not like them that's not the person i know or who i grew up with um, but somebody wants to offer you a commitment someone wants to open their heart to you or you um, are opening your heart and leaning towards a commitment. You could be ready for a commitment. Maybe you've done some healing. Um, you've put in the hard work. After somebody tried to discredit you, um, your life, just, you know, you're just trying to live your life, mind your own business, and somebody was trying to, to discredit everything you are, what you do, what you stand for. Someone's going to be moving or traveling. And they're working on rebuilding heavy burdens. So you could be moving or traveling. You could be um, persevering through some heavy burdens. So maybe you've been trying to move forward or you've been working really hard to get something to move. Something may have been stuck because somebody took some swift action in the past. So somebody could have did something or um, communicated something really quickly to stop you from moving forward and place heavy burdens on you, but you're moving through them. You have the strength and the perseverance you're pushing through. So you could be traveling soon or somebody wants to travel towards you because they're admiring you and they're seeing your strength and your courage and your perseverance. Someone could be in amazement. Someone is amazed by you. Um, what is that? Lone Star Baby, I'm amazed by you. That song is coming out. It's popping up. There's a message of truth coming that's going to lead to a celebration. So somebody wants to speak some sort of truth with the Page of Swords. There's going to be a message of truth. <clears throat> somebody could be revealing their feelings, how they feel. Uh, the person who heavily you burdened you did not have a positive outcome. So whatever they were trying to project or um, 
illustrate about you what you have going on or what kind of person you are it didn't work there there was not a positive outcome for that person or regarding the action that was taken against you because there's going to be a celebration regarding a union and a ten of cups a happy family you know family stability here rebirth death rebirth this this came out double confirmation Something is ending, so something new can begin. Something is overdone. Um, there's a transformation that's taking place. Um, somebody didn't want you to receive an offer. They didn't want it to travel towards you to make you an offer. They possibly didn't want someone else to come towards you and make you an offer. And this created a very emotional situation. Um, you know, the emotions are running high. And the person who wants to come into union with you could be feeling emotional because they may have listened to something or someone that they thought maybe they could trust. So the person who may want to come into union with you could know somebody that was working really hard to stop this union from happening. And it could, it could just be emotional. Someone could be emotional because they believed it. Um, you could be emotional. Yeah, someone's emotional because they believe the illusion. They believe the lies and they're kind of kicking themselves for not coming towards you and making you an offer sooner. They wish they would have followed their intuition and um, they didn't. So they may have wanted to come towards you in the past and they did not. So there, were, there was some sort of action that they were going to take, but somebody intentionally said or did something to stop this from happening or to interfere with this to cause blockages and someone is upset that they listened to this person or didn't see through the illusions that were created it's like somebody believed what they wanted to believe because it was just easier to believe like i said in the beginning um you know if something is just hard to believe it's hard for some people to wrap their head around things you know you have to be open-minded but there's so many closed-minded people and this person could have been very closed-minded to possibly your practices or your spiritual practices or your religious beliefs or even whatever it is you do for work uh, maybe somebody didn't think you were living up to your potential or you were just taking the easy way out or not being productive Your gifts and talents is putting a permanent ending to something. The disbelief, the lies, the bullshit. Your gifts and talents are evident. Eight of Pentacles, you could be um, making money or gaining financially from your gifts or talents. <clears throat> this is causing an ending. Ten of Swords. Somebody has to walk away from something because, I mean, from the lies, the bullshit, the deception. Nobody's believing this person anymore. They're just not... There's no evidence to support what this person said. I mean, there were there were people who just took this person's word for it without fact-checking or looking into something, which is sad, but I mean, it happens. Maybe they thought they could trust this person, or maybe they thought they didn't have a reason to lie to them. They're finding out they were deceived. Somebody definitely wants to come towards you. There's going to be a celebration. You could be emotional when this person comes to, towards you. Maybe you've already had feelings for this person. I don't know if you've already been in union with this person. Um, maybe not. Because somebody wanted to come towards you and they didn't. So I feel like this would be a new relationship that never like had the chance to get started. Yeah. I mean, I have to follow the energy. If the cards aren't coming out, the cards aren't coming out. So, let's go to our feelings cards. Let's see how everyone's feeling today. Let's see what emotions people are trying to hide. So, there's a high priestess energy, high priest, high priestess energy in the reverse. <clears throat> some sort of practitioner in the reverse or a dark practitioner of some sort. Um, somebody who's in the reverse here. They were trying to stop this union from happening uh, because they knew that this person would 
you know, be empathetic and caring towards you. And, you know, it would be a lucky situation. You would bring good luck to each other and you would bring happiness to each other. And somebody did not want that for you. So somebody could have been doing spell work or something. This practitioner in the reverse was doing spell work to stop this from happening because somebody, yeah, they were trying to stop your Ten of Cups. They were trying to stop you from gaining family stability. They wanted your family to be in chaos, disrupted, possibly dismantled. But somebody's coming towards you with these flowers. Somebody really cares about you. And this union can't be stopped anymore <clears throat> because someone's coming to the realization that they were deceived and they're going to follow their heart. Yeah, they see you as their wish fulfillment. I mean, I can't make this shit up. They see you as their love, their happiness. They see um, a happy, secure family with you. They see you as, you know, their wish fulfillment. You could see this person as that way. Yeah, this witchy energy was pissed that this person wanted to come towards the divine femme or masculine here. You've gone through a change. You've gone through a transformation. You yourself have gone from like empress to high priestess um, or emperor to high priest, you know, um, and some there was a betrayal. So there was an angry witch energy here that was pissed off. Someone was pissed off. So they they intentionally caused a betrayal. Um, they could have said that you betrayed somebody. So somebody could have lied and said that you were disloyal, that you couldn't be trusted um you know maybe that you were a cheater or something that you've never been faithful in any relationships there was some sort of betrayal here because someone was mad that some another person saw you as their happiness so this could have been somebody who was jealous and envious of either that person maybe they wanted that person or they just wanted you to be miserable or they just didn't think you deserved this happiness people need to mind their own business Yeah, so somebody thought they were a better option than you. I used to be perfect, now I'm even better. So somebody didn't want you to be seen as an option because they thought they were better than you. So this is somebody who's very envious and jealous of you. This is somebody who wanted your position, especially in a relationship. Oh, jeez. So they created some sort of drama surrounding you. Because they, they're just very jealous. Yeah, someone is very upset because something didn't work out the way they wanted it to. Someone ended up with something that they're not happy with. They may have had to settle or maybe somebody took their shot with somebody and they're just ignorant. Like, they're not educated. Like, you know, they just sit there like a bump on a log and they're not motivated. They're the lazy ones. <laughs> they ended up with someone who likes to sit on the couch, watch TV and eat junk food all the time. And no, no disrespect. There's nothing against that. But whoever this person is... Maybe they don't shower or bathe or something like that. They could have said that you were nasty, that you didn't take care of yourself. Um, whatever. This person could leave a stinky spot on a couch if they sit there. I don't know. But someone is pissed off with the person they ended up with. This person that thought that they were better than you um, or wanted to compete with you. Someone could have tried to cause you bad health. There's a feminine energy here who wanted you to be in bad health. They could be in bad health. They could have said you were in bad health. Someone is pissed off after finding out someone lied. They're not who they said they are. Um, your opinion has been duly noted. Someone is just throwing their opinions, the other person's opinions in the trash where they belong. Someone doesn't give a shit about what other people think anymore. Somebody wanted to be a superhero. They wanted to be seen as this awesome person. They showed their ass. Um, they're unstable. They're crazy. Um, they could have said that about you, that... Um, you're not this, that, and the other, you're not a hero, you're not who you say you are, you're not good, you don't have these gifts and talents. Somebody wanted you to look like you were not capable of doing everything you can do, because you can do a lot of stuff on your own, and this person can't, um, because this person's lazy, they could try to delegate a lot of work out to other people. They're going crazy because they can't compete with you. Um, you showed You showed them that there's no comparison because somebody may have called them out on their bullshit and they're like okay well 
you said that you're the real deal and this person can't do this, that, and the other, and they're not capable of doing all of this on their own, but we're seeing them do this on their own. What are you doing? You have people helping you and you're just sitting here not doing shit. I mean, and, and someone's just like, you know what? Your opinion doesn't even matter. You're whatever you said about this person, you're just jealous of them. Someone is seeing that someone was just jealous and envious and just being ridiculous just because they can't do something that this other person does, um, or that the person that wants to be with them wanted to be with them. Somebody found out they wasted their time. Feel free to waste my valuable time. They found out they're, they're pissed. Monday could be significant. Someone's going to find out they wasted their time. Something was a waste of time and someone's going to be pissed off. This karmic wasted their time. That just fell in my lap in the reverse. So this karmic could be going crazy because um, everything, all the hard work that they put in, it's like they're lazy. They don't want to work on themselves. They don't want to work on life. But all the hard work they did to try to copy you, imitate you, or talk shit about you, or to, um, you know, control this person so that they stayed with them and not went towards their divine counterpart, they wasted their time because there's an ending here. It's over. Their bullshit's over. The illusions are over. Somebody wants to partner up with their divine counterpart. They want to take care of you. They want to love on you. Um, there's some snuggles. There's some kisses. And someone is trying to keep such a tight grip on this person that they can't escape, that they can't do anything. Someone is trying really hard to control a person. Oh, wow. It's like somebody will not loosen their grip. They will not let go. It's like they're trying to control somebody with everything that's in them. But if they work this hard to better themselves... They wouldn't be in this situation. They wouldn't have to try to force somebody to be with them. But this person wants to come towards you. They see you as their wish fulfillment and their happiness. And they want to be with you. And it would be an equal give and take where you would take care of each other. You know, sweet cuddles. Well, you know, the sappy stuff. And, you know, not everyone's into the sappy stuff. But that's just the energy I'm getting. Someone wants to be sappy as hell. But only with you. And vice versa. You know, somebody wants to bust out all those stupid ass love cliches, you know, it's like they, they don't think they're stupid when they think about them with you, you know. They want to whisper sweet nothings into your ear and do the cheesy, get down on one knee kind of thing. It's like this person, you know, wants to do the cheesy stuff, you know, bring you flowers for no reason, stuff like that, like... Someone's nervous, they're sweating, they're anxious, um, they could be getting ready, like I'm getting an anxious, a nervous energy, but it's a good energy, it's like they're trying to pump themselves up, but they're nervous. There's an empress um, in the reverse here, um, who could have done something that was shocking. Mm, okay, so we have like a mother figure here, that empress energy. And another feminine energy. So it could have been a feminine and their mother that was working together in the reverse to do something. Or somebody's mother was working with another feminine to cause something to happen. To stop a door from opening. To try to stop something from happening. Something was shocking. There was something surprising or shocking about the lengths that these two females went to. To try to stop a door from opening for a person. To stop a marriage or to stop. Whoa. Okay. Somebody got tricked into a marriage to try to stop a door from opening. Ooh. So somebody and their mama plotted and planned on how to trap this man. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody got tricked into a marriage. Hmm. Could have used a pregnancy, could have used chi child children. Um, <clears throat> you know, they, they kept the mask up for quite a while, but as soon as somebody got married here, like, the mask fell off, and someone is realizing they done fucked up and married somebody that is, like, their worst nightmare. Yeah, somebody, is, somebody got tricked into a marriage, so maybe this marriage is ending, or they're separating from this person, I don't know. But this masculine energy, they're nervous and sweating, and they're anxious, but in a good way, they... Yeah, someone wants out of this now. It could be this masculine. He's like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. This is not what I signed up for. Um, 
just feminine and you know her mom could be controlling like dominating um just like ruining this dude's life like i don't know there's but this person wants out they want out because they were tricked into this um this marriage was built on false pretenses someone lied about who they are what they are i i, I don't know however I, I know there's probably a million ways that someone could trick someone into marrying them i guess i mean I don't know, but somebody fell for it. Somebody fell for a marriage. They got duped into it, and now they and then they want it out. So somebody could be nervous because a divorce could be finalized or getting finalized, or someone's you know separated from this person, and they want to come towards their divine counterpart now, um, the divine femme or masculine. You know, however this is resonating. But wow, <laughs> wowzers! I'm going to check these cards again now. Now that we have some more information. <clears throat> there we go yeah the wheel of fortune has turned it, you know this came out sideways ne now near future energy so someone has a decision to make it's it's almost like they're at the crossroads and whatever decision they make is going to take them up higher on the wheel so they could be faced with a decision to stay in this fraudulent marriage or escape and so the wheel of fortune is turning because this person is choosing to leave this um the situation because it was based on lies there's a change there's transformation coming because something is being stopped so somebody has matured somebody has grown up here and they're realizing that the things that maybe they were attracted to were shallow and maybe that's what led them to being tricked or duped so somebody could have been attracted to like appearances or you know, like old-fashioned things, like, um, you know, old principles or values or something. Um, children could be involved as well. Um, so something is being stopped because somebody is growing up, someone is maturing here, and a decision has been made. So this person could have gone through an awakening or they're going through one. You could have triggered an awakening within this person or they're just being enlightened or, you know, woke. But some sort of transformation, some, um, even your maturation, like your maturity, like the level of maturity that you have gone through, divine feminine masculine, because of your rebirth, your rebirth triggered this person's rebirth. Watching you grow and transform has triggered this person in a way because they're your divine counterpart. So they have to come up to your level and they've made the decision to stop doing whatever they were doing and come towards you. There's a time of rest that's coming or somebody is resting, relaxing, recuperating. And this is a message of concern to somebody because you have options and somebody doesn't want to miss out on their opportunity to be with you. So someone could be panicking on trying to get out of this situation as quickly as possible so they can come to you before someone else snatches you up. Because we have this love offer coming, the Ace of Cups. Someone seeds that they planted for some sort of money. So this, you know, the karmic femme and their mama, whatever... The two females, they could be gold diggers. Um, whatever seeds they planted to get some sort of money or finances, they could have even tried to copy your work or something like that, and they're not getting any money from it. Nothing is growing for them. <sighs> and then, and this person wants to come towards you and make you a love offer. Your divine counterpart wants to make you this Ace of Cups offer, and it's going to um, set, like, it's either going to set you free from a situation or as soon as they get set free from the situation, they're, they want to come towards you and make you this offer as soon as they're free. So as soon as this person, or they're free now, they have been set free and now they want to come towards you with this offer or they're going to be set free. And as soon as they are, they're coming towards you with this love offer. Because somebody got a message that someone was not getting money or something that they were trying to do is not financially beneficial to them. Um, you know, those karmic energies could have been trying to get some sort of money or finances from somebody. It's not going to work. Um, but meanwhile, this person who is being set free or, okay, so somebody could have been trying to take someone for like child support or alimony or something like that, like spousal support, depending on where you live. But as soon as this person gets set free from this situation, they're, they want to do this as quickly as possible or they have been set free and now they're getting ready to come towards you because they want to make this offer. 
and they know you have options and they're getting a concerning message that maybe you have started dating again or that you're entertaining offers and they're like, oh shit. They do not want to miss out on their opportunity. Mm. You know, someone was injured, the wounded warrior, and it could have been this person, um, or you could have been injured because of what these two feminines did to you or said about you, um, like a slander campaign, like character assassination, like these two could have worked together to destroy your image so that this person wouldn't come towards you because one of them wanted this masculine. And so you were injured and then this masculine was duped into this false marriage that was based on bullshit and lies and plots and plans. And that cycle is over. Them, this person being trapped, held hostage is over. And that is making this, uh, this karmic in despair. It is causing them to be in despair. They feel betrayed. How dare this person leave me? Well, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? There's some swift action, swift communication coming in. They want to communicate with their divine counterpart. They want to talk to you. They miss you. Um, or they miss talking to you. Maybe you were friends at one time. Or maybe on good terms. Just maybe friendly. And then when they hooked up with this person, maybe like you stopped being friends or something like that, you know? Yeah, this person was in despair. This karmic is in despair because they're not getting this offer. Um, they couldn't stop you from receiving this offer that's coming towards you because you're the official person. You're the hierophant. What the fuck did they think was going to happen? You're a true spiritualist. You've healed. You could be. You're a healer. Somebody was just a tyrant. They were. Oh, okay. So, someone was in despair because this emperor could, you know, could have had a treasure. There was a lot of talk and gossip about um, a masculine energy um, and a treasure, or maybe they said they had a treasure. Um, they could have viewed you as a treasure. So, in the past. This masculine was talking about how awesome a divine femme was or their divine counterpart was and how they saw them as a treasure. And so people were talking about this. And so someone swooped in very quickly. This karmic swooped in to copy, imitate, to trap this person and keep them bound and stuck. Even though it's in the reverse, this isn't, the emperor is, I'm not getting as a karmic energy. What I'm getting is, is this is past energy. So this is what happened to lead up to this. So, you know, this emperor was bragging, talking about wanting to come towards this divine femme, and someone's like, oh, hell no. And they swooped in, and they're like, I'm better than this skank ho ever will be, and that man deserves to be with me, because, um, whatever fuck they thought, but that's why they tried to steal your wand. That's why they took your wand. Mm-hmm. They took your man. Yeah. Yep. They wanted your man. Yeah. They were jealous of the dick you were getting, plain and simple. You're going to be getting communication from your divine counterpart, Scorpio, ending. There's an ending. Your divine counterpart, there's a union coming together. You're going to be communicating. This is your divine counterpart. This is somebody you're supposed to be with, that you're meant to be with. A lot of people went through a lot of trouble to stop this from happening, but, you know, it's going to happen. They were a thief. These karmics were thieves. They just wanted your... What a skank ho. What a sk uh, Man, this bitch is skanky. Skank ho, skank ho, skis. <clears throat> nasty, nasty, nasty. This female really tricked this person into marrying them. Like, really, really tricked this person. <sighs> you have divine protection. This person was once again wasting their time. They made up fake profiles, too many fake profiles to count. They're watching you, stalking you, trying to copy you, trying to make money. Just, they're purposefully lying to cover their ass. So someone's trying to purposefully lie to cover their ass about what they did. An ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is involved. 
they're deceiving themselves. So this person could have separated from them. Um, they could have been engaged. They could have been married. But um, so you could have been like, this could be your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that was deceiving themselves. Um, a cord cutting is needed or was needed against this person. Um, your ex was deceived. They are being deceived. They want to come towards you or something is going to be happening in the next two to four weeks. A cord cutting is needed or was needed. So whoever your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is that wants to come towards you. So for some of you, you were with this person and this skank ho decided to go flash your shit around. So, I mean, I guess it's up to you if you want to be with this person. Um, or they already separated from this person and they're still trying to cause drama so that this person can't come towards you. So you have to take it how it applies to your situation. Now I'm seeing a few different scenarios. So this could be um, somebody who tried to get someone to marry them and they didn't get married. Um, you know, this could have been somebody's ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that came back that was jealous of you um, being close to this person. And so this is somebody that they were already with. So maybe they thought that that was their divine counterpart. They were tricked, you know, the false twin or the karmic twin. You know, it's not all roses. Um, don't give up on your dream. Something is going to work out for you. This person took back an ex, okay? So they ended up hooking up with somebody that they thought they already had a connection with, um, and they thought maybe they went through a transformation because they were copying you, imitating you. They're like, wow, this person really did change. They want to be a good person. And that's for some of you. Um, but that was not the case. Somebody was really tricked into a marriage. Okay. For some of them, they actually did marry this person. Pregnancy or fake pregnancy. I told you. I told you. This bitch got pregnant on purpose or they faked a pregnancy. If you know what I did in the reverse, a mother or daughter. So this is the Empress in the reverse energy, a mother or daughter figure. Um, if you know what I did, this could have even been your mother that worked or their mother, someone's mother, someone's ex and their mother. Anyways, there's two feminine energies here in the reverse. One is a mother figure to somebody. And if you know what I did, somebody was coaching this skank on what to do and how to do it and you know it worked for a while somebody may have gotten pregnant and actually had a child which is sad it, it's sad y'all be bringing children into this shit and you had no business doing it all because you wanted to trap somebody that is fucked up that's fucked up something is going to be happening in the in a matter of days someone's getting a promotion you're leveling up Pay attention to your health. Someone's in bad health. This this could be, um, you know, someone here is in bad health. Um, someone's karmic could be in bad health. They didn't help you and you needed them. So someone could have been experiencing bad health. Um, karma. Maybe they couldn't help you because they were helping this person who was having bad health or experiencing bad health possibly due to a pregnancy. So it could have been a pregnancy that went wrong for somebody. So... This, this crazy psycho skank and her mama, you know, they got, this girl could have gotten pregnant here and then had health issues because of it. And this person couldn't help you because they were dealing with psycho and her mama or some crazy shit like that. There's something that someone is not seeing clearly. Some, somebody is not seeing something clearly. Um, you need patience, wait a little longer and un the, under the influence of drugs and alcohol. So somebody is not seeing that someone's health is being affected by their substance abuse or their drug use. And it, it has nothing to do with the pregnancy or something like that. Okay. So someone, someone lost the baby. Someone got pregnant or faked a pregnancy and lost this baby or pretended to, and they've been under the influence of drugs and alcohol. So they could be coping. Okay. So they did something impatiently. Um, they moved quickly. Um, but someone was not seeing that this person is um, self-medicating and that is why they're having health issues not because they were actually pregnant so there's a lot going on here you guys there's a lot i mean this psycho it, like really did a number on this man and someone is going to be in bad health because of drugs and alcohol if they don't quit that shit or someone is like loopy like 
going crazy, they're driving themselves crazy because they're under the influence and they won't get sober or they can't get sober. They can't see that this person doesn't want to be with them because they refuse to be sober. Like someone is so codependent, this karmic doesn't want to accept that this is over between them and the person that wants to go towards their divine counterpart. They just refuse to accept this. And they're trying to control this person, possibly with drugs or alcohol as well, by partaking in this. Maybe they share, like, you know, maybe they get high together or something. But someone is not seeing something clearly because they just don't want to. I mean, they just refuse to accept the truth that this person doesn't want to be with them. And someone in another situation is not seeing um, something clearly regarding the fact that this person really doesn't have health issues. They're doing something to themselves and they're self-medicating. They have addictions. They were never pregnant. Um, and I don't, I, I want to be careful about this. Somebody who was not faking, somebody who could have actually been pregnant, could have lost a baby because of some sort of substances that they were using. And that could have triggered, um, you know, uh, like a miscarriage kind of thing. I don't know. There's a, there's like at least three different people going through this crazy shit. I mean, there's just like three or four different scenarios. It's just crazy. This is just nuts. And here I was thinking this wouldn't be a longer read, but you know, I got to get the information out because this is crazy. Somebody really got you know, somebody really had a number done on them. So, you know, I don't want to say just have compassion for somebody, but, you know, these two females really did something to this masculine and they went all out with the tricks and everything. And they just, they're still not letting up. They refuse to accept it. Like this, this crazy female just will not let this masculine go. They just refuse to accept the truth. And it's really sad. There's something significant about Thursday in January. Someone flew the coop on Thursday, so somebody could have tried to escape. <laughs> like, this masculine could have been like, all right, here's my chance. I'm out. Um, but somebody flew the coop. Somebody could have left um, or attempted to leave um, in, on a Thursday in January. Something could have happened where someone tried to leave or did leave in January. Uh, they tried, but it was easier said than done. Okay, so they tried, and then this female pulled them back in. Oh, my God. So, they tried. Somebody could have flown the coop at night. So, somebody could have left. Like, maybe this female left or something like that. Um, they could have went and stayed with their, you know, their mama or something. Um, and then, um, so this masculine was like, okay, um, something is over, whatever. Um, an Aries could be significant. That just fell out. And then this bitch comes back. You know that song, The Bitch Came Back? <laughs> what is that? Theory of a Dead Man? <laughs> the Bitch Came Back. The Bitch Came Back. Okay. So, um, for some of you, this masculine is still married to this person and they're trying to get away from them. So, uh, someone's trying desperately to just do something here. A Libra could be going to jail. They're in their worst nightmare. So there's a Libra that could be getting arrested, going to jail, going towards their worst nightmare because it's something that they did. Someone is trying to think outside the box in July. So, um, yeah, somebody could have had someone arrested. Somebody could have went to jail. Balance may need to be restored in a situation because someone ended up in their worst nightmare. Um, and then they're trying to think outside the box. So someone is trying to get creative with something in July. <clears throat> Remember, past, present, or future. In this scenario, this situation is going to apply to multiple different people just on different timelines. So someone is going to try to do some slick shit in July. So they're going to try to get creative, think outside the box. And that could be when somebody wants to come towards you with every dog has its day. So for some of you, someone may be coming towards you in, del in July to make an offer or let you know that they separated from this person or I don't know. But something is going to happen in July for some of you guys. There's a lot. And there's a lot of crossing timelines going on here. So, I mean, I'm trying to stay. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on top of it. But <clears throat> it's like there's a lot going on all at once for many different people. 
Um, a Scorpio and a Virgo could be significant, and a Gemini. So I have Scorpio, Virgo, and a Gemini. There was a group of people up to something in August. So there was a group, you know, a fine kettle of fish, nasty coochie. <sighs> Got a group of people together. It doesn't have to be a group, group of females, but, you know, fine kettle of fish, you know. Mm, yuck. Um, so they got together with a group of people and um, did something in August, or August is significant. Maybe they celebrated something. They celebrated too soon having victory over this masculine because something didn't go the way they planned. Check these real quick and then we'll close this out. Yeah, final thought. Something is over. Something is ending. Um, you know. So somebody could have had a mistress or had a side piece or this was a mist mistress or somebody could have said that you had a mistress um drive through so somebody said that you know you, maybe you're a home wrecker someone could have accused you of being a home wrecker so say this is somebody who was separated from their ex or something like that and they hooked up with you and they ended up reconciling and maybe you ended up being the mistress and you didn't know about it so someone just thought that you know something was a drive through that you know it was going to be over and done with Meanwhile, this person's ex started copying you, trying to be you, because they saw that that's what this, you know, you're the kind of person that your divine counterpart is attracted to, but they've been everywhere. They could have, they said that about you. They said that you were nasty, a skank, that you've been everywhere, um, but it was too hard to prove because you're not. Like, somebody tried to act like they did something out of boredom. I just want to have something to do. So this female is going around saying that, you know, you're a home wrecker. This person was just bored. They just wanted something to do. They were just killing time because they were separated from them. <clears throat> and that's why someone was being cold hearted to you. But somebody could, could have been drinking ever since something happened. Not enough tequila, whiskey, lullaby. This person, your divine counterpart, is in deep regret for not coming towards you and possibly reconciling with this crazy ass ex that they thought was you that was pretending to be you. <clears throat> It's really sad, man. It's really sad. Death of the party. The party's over, though. This shit's over. Like, whatever games these people are playing, this masculine has caught on. and Or feminine. You know, take it how it resonates in your personal situation. But it, it's over. Party's over. Like, someone's done dealing with shit. <clears throat> Two. Three. Someone could be 23. Five. One. So someone could be between the ages of 23 and 51. Two, two, so 22, and then six, 62, so someone could be between the ages of 22 and 62, so <clears throat> there could be quite an age difference or something like that. All right, person, place, or thing, G could be significant. P, general practitioner, so someone could be in the medical field, someone could be a general practitioner, or someone needs to go see one, someone could have caught something. B, <clears throat> V, or Mm, someone could be suffering some bowel issues, like leakage problems with their, like, bladder, bladder or bowels. I don't know. That's gross. Some, someone has a leaky, I'm hearing leaky bowel. I meant to say bladder, but bowel came out, and I'm getting that some, mm, someone could have a leaky bowel or a leaky bladder. C, that could be significant. Another C. Someone's name could be CC, CCR could be significant. <clears throat> Credence, Clearwater Revival. I, somebody could live by a river, uh, a big river. I'm hearing big river, so a big river could be significant. Another R. I'll do one more. And L. Okay, I hope this helps. Have a good day.